Lalaruk is based, as um, uh, I might have said, on a uh, poem by, by Thomas More. Uh, it's a very simple story, really. It's, it's about a, a girl, Lalaruk, a princess, who is on her way to marry the king of Somersond and has uh, already um, fallen in love with somebody else. Um, it's, it's, it's a rather simple thing. She, she loves somebody else. She turns up to marry the man who she doesn't want to marry, to whom she's promised, and he ends up being the man who she's been in love with all the time. It's, a, it's, it's, it's lovely. And so I was very much very excited by the idea of doing uh, something that was based on the poem by Thomas More, who had a big connection with Wexford. But I will say that I suppose there were two challenges that faced me when asked to direct this gem of a piece. they were, the fact that interspersed between the musical numbers there were long and convoluted dialogues in French and I was very, not nervous, but I, I suppose I felt that we could do something more immediate for our Wexford audience and uh, that was a challenge that faced me, how to deal with those dialogues and the other thing and possibly as, as challenging was the fact that the opera, while very fashionable at the time, was supposed to be set in the East. And the idea of replicating um, an Oriental world on stage was something that I was quite um, unexcited about. And in fact, I just didn't think that it would sit well with our current sensibilities. <laughs> Then, I suppose my, 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 big, uh, my biggest and most um, uh, exciting decision that I've made with this piece is that, and it's, in fact it answers both of the problems at once, is that I've chosen to have a narrator. And our narrator acts as a framing device. So our narrator can automatically deliver us the lines that should have been delivered by the singers in convoluted French dialogue. So that's that problem solved. And our narrator can also, as a framing device, create whatever world, I'm trying not to tell you too much now, but he can create the world that I want him to create. And he, in his extraordinary way, makes everything happen on stage. It's all his idea, the entire um, story becomes his idea um, and it's, 
he does it in a very magical and sympathetic and touching way. It seemed to me that the best sort of person to do this would be an, an Irish actor. Um, many of you will know him, of course, the wonderful Lorcan Cranich. And he is creating this extraordinary role of the narrator. Recall since she first heard his song. When I had the idea of introducing the role of a narrator, it was um, vital that I chose the right person to create the narrator's words. I went to a very good friend of mine called Timothy Nathman, who is a brilliant uh, writer. He's written all sorts of things, libretti, um, lyrics, books. And he, I just knew that he'd, be, he'd, he'd understand what was required. And essentially, I sort of said to Tim, right, so this is what needs to happen in terms of plot in each dialogue. Um, and I gave him the world that we were creating that Madeleine Boyd, the designer, great, great designer, and I were creating together. And then Tim uh, went away and wrote the most beautiful, um, pithy, funny, touching, um, verse and uh, yeah, I, I think I think it will go down really well with our Irish audiences. Mm -hmm.